met with Quen during this presentation weekend. I'd spoken to her, to her uh, through Skype before, but really when I met with her here during, when I was visiting UCSB, uh, she blew my mind. I <laughs> went into her office and we talked and she was emphasizing, I remember how she emphasized the importance of having open and honest communication with her students. And it was really clear out of that how much she cared about her students' well-being and success. And that's been one of the things that I really admire about Quen, how she's so open to, to hearing about her students' experience and her students' perspective, and she really adjusts accordingly. And yeah, I think this is one of the things that really sets her apart from any other professors. Welcome to UCSB. I grew up in a small village in Vietnam, and for many years of my life, 16 years of my life, uh, we have no electricity. And so that another uh, motivation why a big effort in my research group we focus on organic solar cell. So many people familiar with traditional inorganic semiconductor like silicon, uh, uh, the type of uh, material. So in our group, we work closely with synthetic chemists and we take those material where they systematically chain either single atoms on the molecules or they chain functional group on the, on, on the molecule or polymer. We take those, we study how chain in this uh, chemical structure affect the way the molecule pack in thin film. The conformation and so on in solution and then morphology in thin film. And then how that affect the energy level and therefore the optical property, the conductivity and the device performance. So we will be able to make the connection from taking the molecule and go all the way to the application side which is making devices. For me, um, to say based the, the organic solar cell, we spent basically the past 13 years to study uh, them and we still do not fully understand how they work. Right. Uh, we can make the device, you can have certain power conversion efficiency number. But to be able to understand how they work, so it's really challenging because this is the type of very complex device that you require to understand both the optical property, the transport property to understand that. And so for me, that is very exciting at the same time uh, challenging. But for me, the more complicated problem, uh, the more I get hooked into it, just by, I don't know, drug. <laughs> and so because I really want to understand that, get to the bottom line of that, to be able to understand how it works, what affects the performance. So what I am most proud of, I must say that I'm most proud of my team, my student, my postdoc, and also I have amazing collaborators uh, from different parts of the world. Uh, but all of what we accomplished in the, this, this, this research group is really from my student and postdoc. I have a team of wonderful people, very talented and brilliant people.